around you. Hold it down. Is it okay if I hold this? Yeah. I want something to hold. So I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> okay. Nate, no, you look amazing, as always. <laughs> Thanks for watching. A tattoo that I've refused to do for a long time is someone's like their spouse's name or something. Oh, their names, yeah. That's bad mojo. Typically, like names, if I know it's a significant other, I won't do those. Oh yeah, just your significant other's names. Never really works out too well. I've done it myself. I tattoo my husband's name on me and his face on me, so I can't tell them to do differently. It depends on the strength of their love. Yeah, it depends. They have to. They have to listen. They have to walk through. I think that's what I'm supposed to say. An obstacle course, like a team obstacle course, and like do a team scavenger hunt, and then if they yeah. don't hate each other at the end, they'll do the tattoo on both. They got to do like a trust fall exercise in yes, front of us exactly. or something, yeah. so we know. Big, like, we, we ain't gonna be fished up by doing this tattoo. Can you show us the tattoo or is it hidden? Uh, so we got into an argument, so I covered it up with a sea turtle. Love it. Yeah, but I'm gonna put him somewhere else on my body. So, as far as like wacky ideas, I don't refuse those because. You know, there's, I, I feel like if you can't think of a cool way to do it, you know, you just got to spend a little more time. Feathers. Always feathers. I don't know why, I just hate tattooing feathers. A Supreme sticker on the side of his face, from his ear to his mouth, and he said he just got out of the pen. Out and I was what? about to put him back in it. Feathers for, I don't know. I don't know what reason I have against, like I don't have anything against them, I guess. Like if you want to get it, I just don't like doing them. I think this... Girl wanted a face of herself. I just think that's weird. I one time had this guy ask me to do a portrait of him shooting himself in the face. Uh, you know what's funny? People always think that this is me. And it's not. And I get really pissed about it because it's not me. Things I won't do, family portraits, all that kind of stuff. There's just too much stress trying to do someone's dead mom's in portrait and you've only seen this portrait and this picture that sucks and you've only got a few hours to see it beforehand and then you got six hours seven hours to do it and they get to see it for life it's too much i'm not a big face tattoo guy we had this guy come in the shop one day and he really really wanted 007 underneath his eye right here i just couldn't do it they know the james bond <laughs> was a spy yes that's what i'm saying like I was down because I really love that game on N64. I was down for it. But then that, and then he was like, but I want it here. And I was like, bro, I'm not tattooing your face. Uh, I don't know why, but Superman symbols, it's just a bad omen. I feel like every time I get a dude that comes in, it's like, yo, I want this Superman symbol. Like, it's just gonna be a bad dude. The times that I have done the Superman symbol, it just like, the dude was a dick, like couldn't sit, which is ironic because you're getting a Superman symbol and then you sit, you know, can't sit for it. Um, so I just don't do them anymore. You're just like Batman. If somebody comes in, yeah, if somebody comes in with a Batman, we're good. But if somebody comes in like, yo, I want a Superman symbol, I'm like, nah. Man. I'm fresh out of those. I had a girl that came in and she she was like, I, I don't want to do this in front of any men. I want to make sure that the shop is closed when we do this particular tattoo. So it had me really, really intrigued because she hadn't even told me what the idea was yet. And I was just like, okay, what's the idea? And she's like, what I want is teeth on the inside of my vagina. And I was like, on the inside, like, it's like, you, you know, I feel like vagina lips are the same thing as like the inside of your inner lips, like your labia minora. We can utilize those things in the labia majora. <laughs> it's like the inside, it's like, I was like, you want teeth in there? She's like, yeah. And then on the outside, I want it to have like, um, I forget what it was, like a shark or some sort of animal that had like large teeth. And I was like, you know, and I just like kind of looked at her a little bit and I was like, you know, I just don't really want that in my face and you're kind of freaking me out, the fact that you just want teeth in there. Like, and that was before that movie came out. Teeth, I think that was the name or the, of the, of the I movie. movie. The feminist classic. <laughs> A feminist classic, I like that. But yeah, so that was kind of one of those ones where I was just like, you know, 
No, thank you. I'm very specific with the kind of projects that I'll allow myself to take on, just because I want to know that I'm the right artist for this person, and this is the right project for me. Um, so I don't take on a lot of the inquiries that I get, but there is stuff that I just won't do. Tattoos, I refuse to do anything with hate speech. Um, any kind of like symbols like that. Anything that's like offensive, you know, like racist sh bullshit, uh, gang stuff, I try to avoid that sh I refuse some like supremacist tattoos, white supremacist stuff, racist tattoos. Um, and that's like gone up to like rebel flags, that kind of sh falls into the category. I had a guy actually call, this was, I think I'd been tattooing for like two years, so I hadn't encountered this yet, but I had a guy call the shop and ask if we do political tattoos. And I think at the time I was thinking like, you know, some like no Obama or something like that. And I was like, yeah, I guess. And he comes in and what he wanted was like a swastika. Um, you know, so obviously I was like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. And he started going on about, you know, he called and he just wasted his gas. And, and I was like, dude, you said political tattoos. You didn't say <laughs> what this is, you know? Um, so anything like that, I'll just uh, flat out refuse. Anything with like a giant, um like a lion's head. Some like really cheesy common uh, tattoos like a lion with a crown or um, a clock. Grown men will like email me and be like, can I get a lion's head with like a huge clock in the middle with a rose and all, and I'm like, I, no. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Um, One time I said, yes to a project where it was three brothers. Each of them wanted to get three lions. So it was nine lions in one day. And ever since I just, I see a lion tattoo, I'm like eh. So our shop, we actually, we don't do dragons. <laughs> for the past so many, two months, there's been nothing but dragons for all of us. I'm just like, <laughs> it's just not what I like to do. I hate doing flags, I hate doing logos. I won't do other people's artwork unless it's like an established artist, like a Renaissance painter or something like that. If somebody wants me to duplicate it, I'll do that. Some clients uh, like sometimes give me a like, I, I just send me a, something like tattoo, someone who did. I want like the same one. But you know, I can I can use the same concept. I can make like uh, my own like design with like same concept. But I don't do the same like exactly same tattoo like someone did. Yeah, I mean it's just anything. Dragons. Hate. None of that. None of that stuff. I'll tattoo anything, but just if it's something that doesn't go along with what I think or something anti-something, definitely not. Like a dragon. <laughs> there's there's so many. There's so many, and it's, for me, it's gotten to a point to at the beginning of a conversation, and I'm an empath, right? So I can kind of pick up on, on what's going on, um, the beginning of a message, the beginning of an email. I, c I can see where it's going, and that it's, it's hard because I'm also a, a, a people pleaser, right? And, and I, I want to make the customer happy. Uh, I've also realized being a yes man for the majority of my career has not allowed me to be very happy doing what I'm doing and I refuse to shortchange the quality that I'm giving people while they're giving me their hard-earned money and a lot of it. Like, I gotta do things a little different. Are there any tattoos that you did earlier on that you wouldn't do now? Based oh, of on? course, on the beginning, of course. Yeah, I see those tattoos and somebody is like on convention. I remember you tattoo me and I'm like, no, I don't wanna remember that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I had a girlfriend that had, um, she got like her butt tattoo. <laughs> and like, she was telling me about how to heal. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> she was like having to like, whenever she had to go to the bathroom, like go this way or that way. And like, she had to use like Pampers wipes to like dab in order for like, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> No more, no more information. I'm good, I'm thank you. She's like, but she's like, I love it. And she did show me a picture of it. She ended up getting her, getting her butt bleached first and then getting it done. So the, the black web, cause it's, it was a spider web around. Yeah, it just looked nice and bright. And I was like, mm. good for, good for you. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to spread my butt cheeks for, for anything like that. No, no, thank you. For anything, not anything, for anything. I don't even want to. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Only for Jesus. <laughs> Only for Jesus. <laughs> oh.
Oh, jeez, yeah.